Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about parallel and series. What the heck does that mean? Parallel and series, two awesome things. I'll tell you what, friends. I have a lot of batteries for a lot of common size airplanes. Yes, he does. Yes, I do. You've seen my airplane collection. Yes, huh? I have. You've seen my battery collection, too. And I'll tell you what, predominantly my battery collection is 1300 milliamp and 22s. But occasionally I get an airplane that OCD. needs a OCD. He's little, got little, them all organized like you wouldn't believe. Sometimes you get planes, I don't know, like the EPP FPV plane. It needs a crazy amount of nose weight and also needs a crazy amount of capacity for the battery to get nice long flights. Rather than going out and buying, say, a 5,000 milliamp battery pack, if you don't have the funds for that, you can simply buy a couple of connectors, a couple uh, solder joints, and you're all set with a series like or a uh, battery. The Poe Man's way to do it. The Poe Man's. It's, you know what? It gets you in the air cheaply, efficiently, and you can use batteries you already have. All right, let's go ahead and talk about parallel first. Imagine a situation. You have an airplane, you need a, a larger capacity, but not necessarily need bigger voltage. Mm -hmm. Okay, you picturing it? I'm picturing it. In your head. I got well, it. I can give you a perfect example. The carbon fiber FPV EPP plane from Hobby King mm -hmm. needs a higher capacity battery because you want to fly longer, but also needs a lot of nose weight. Okay. So you need more battery pack up there. Might as well use nose weight with batteries. Uh, and this is where this parallel connector would be Perfect. Obviously, you want to use a heavier gauge one, but basically what Parallel does, and uh, easy way to remember, keep all your blacks and all your red together, and you're good to go. Now, when you do a Parallel uh, battery harness, you will not increase your voltage. You'll only increase your uh, battery capacity, and that's a very important thing to know. Now, let's go ahead and uh, we'll plug this in here. Let's get a reading here. Let's get a reading. That's a cool uh, sound, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. All right. I don't think it's that cool, but... <laughs> As you can see here, we have 8.22 volts. We do not have 14 plus volts, only 8.22. But what we do now have is we have 200 to 800 milliamp battery packs. We now have 1600 milliamps in capacity. So a parallel battery pack will allow all the capacity to go through, but it will not increase your voltage. Gotcha. Very simple to solder too. All you simply do is uh, keep your red leads and your black leads soldered together and you're good to go. We have two females here and one male is all you need. Okay. Now imagine you wanted to do three cells, you'd just simply do three females connected to one male and you'd have triple the capacity. So it just multiplies your capacity. That is one lucky man. Go on. Okay. All right. All right. Now, what about series? Series is a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. With this one, you got to be careful. If you do it wrong, you will short out your battery, and that is not a good thing. So be very Blow careful. stuff up. Make sure you do it properly. Um, and to show you here, this will be your male, and that will go into your speed control. If you follow back, you have the reds and the blacks together. Now, here's where it gets different. Okay. You have your two females, your red and black actually connect here. So if you get, replay this video over and over and make sure you get a good idea what's going on there. Don't mess that up. Don't mess it up. Carnage. I, I, don't, I don't want you guys burning up batteries or burning up anything valuable. So don't like mess your it up. Face. Yeah, face yeah, we valuable. like you guys out there. We don't want anything bad to happen to you. Yeah. But series are very, very valuable to have because like I said, you can, perfect situation I could think would be really a hotliner. Something with a very narrow fuselage, you wanna put multiple batteries, daisy chain back, get increase in voltage. This would be the perfect scenario for that and it's very easy to do. Now, you do need, where a parallel, you can just plug one battery in and get your voltage. Um, you do need to complete the circuit on these. So we got one battery here, one battery here. Now these are both two, uh, two cell batteries. So what we're gonna make here is a four cell battery but with the same capacity. So we'll still have 800 milliamps, but we'll have double the voltage. Right now we have 16.5 uh, volts. So 16.5 volts, that's a nice four channel or four cell battery pack, but 800 milliamps. Now the only way we can show you the milliamp hours is by putting it on the watt meter, running it, but trust me, it's 800 milliamps, not 1600. Take our word for it. Take our word for it. Okay. Okay. So guys, let's recap here. All right. I'm gonna test you. How's that okay. sound? Show me the parallel. Uh, here's the parallel. All right, what's cool about the parallel? Parallel, parallel is cool is because it gives you uh, more capacity. More capacity. But the same amount of volts. You're a good man. I am so good. You are good. Now what about amperage draw? I don't know. Okay, 2200 milliamp battery pack, 20C rating gives you about 44 amps draw. Okay, that's about the, the you know, maximum draw you wanna okay. go out of that. Okay, sure. now if you have two in parallel, you're still gonna only get 44 amps of draw, you're just gonna get double the capacity, so keep that in mind. Now, your series parallel, you're gonna get double the voltage, you know, increase your voltage, you're also gonna increase your amps, but you're not gonna give you more capacity. Okay. All right? Very good. Very good. So what about series? Series is you're gonna get more volts but the same amount of capacity. Yes. 
And you want to be careful that you don't short things out because you'll blow up your face yeah. and you'll blow up your plane. And then you'll be mad at us. Yeah. And, uh, and it's not our fault because we told you. So don't call us complaining. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, don't we, do it. We, we warned you, you and, and we don't want you to catch on fire or yeah. any of your belongings. Yeah. Okay? We told you. We told you. Anyway, we want to thank Hobby King for sponsoring this episode and we want to thank you guys for watching. Absolutely. And we got some more planes to put we together. We got a lot of planes. So, Let's work yeah. on the pits. What All right. Say? We'll see you guys later. See y'all later.